Hello everyone and welcome again to Sabi Book. Um, today's lesson is for week three of Introduction to Music Production on Coursera.org. And today we'll be talking about submixing. How do you configure a submix on your digital audio workstation? And this digital audio workstation I have here is called Fruity Loop. And so we'll be working with this today. So quickly, I have a project I already built uh, from my archive. And let's quickly listen to it and see what it sounds like from the step sequencer. <laughs> So the first thing we're going to do is to select all these tracks and send them to a mixer. And that's what we have here. So you click on shift button on your mouse, on your keyboard rather, and then left click to select all of them. And then you come right here. You can pick any of these inserts, which are different tracks on the mixer. We'll pick insert one, right click and select link channels starting from this track boom here we are now we've connected all these tracks to the mixer so we can do our adjustments right from this mixer you know all the effect and everything we need to do on all these tracks but now the idea of submix is that instead of putting different effects on each track we could bring all the track together into one single submix track and then do all our effect in that track such that it affects every other um, individual tracks do we left click on insert seven and then we rename say we call it drum submix so now the next is we need to connect all of these route it to this one drum submix simply click on this then move to the drum submix track right click on this icon and select route to this track only repeat the same thing for the others Okay, that's done. So now we can control all this track, individual track, from this drum submix. And it is not dependent on the master track because uh, even when the master track volume is high on this, we can bring down the fader here and all the volume comes down. Let's see what that. So we can bring this down. As you can see, even though the master track is still high, so the idea is that all the track passes through this drum submix before it goes to the master track. It does not depend on the master track. Then the next is we now need to add some you know effect to it. Say we go to this you know effect slot and then we pick one effect. We could add an equalizer and make some adjustment, maybe roll or boost the bottom end and also the top end let's hear what it sounds like you can tell the difference you can choose to bring this down too and you see it changes so let's say we take it up yeah and we leave it this way a bit more of the center good so that done so the idea here now is we have created all these effect and it has general effect on these individual tracks but they are centered on this drum submix so instead of putting eq and fruity compressor on the individual tracks we can do that only on this track that saves our computer a lot of processing power and um, it also helps us to manage our work in a more efficient way thank you very much for watching and i hope i'll see you in the next lesson until then Enjoy.